This is the center of Adams Morgan, and this is the Beverly Court. This building is even older than the last one. This was built in 1915. Oh, so wow. it, it's at the very end of that Beaux-Arts period, the Gilded Age period. So you'll see a lot of those details on the outside of the building, but also on the inside. Well, you're we definitely in the middle of all the hustle and the bustle. Everything good about Adams Morgan is literally within a couple blocks of here. This went from being an apartment building to being converted to a co-op in the 60s or the 70s. And so artists live here. Hey, artists were able to afford it. I like that. Yeah, go take a look at the unit, and I'll yeah. see you out here when you're done. All Great. right, sounds good. Let's go. <gasps> oh, man. Okay. You just don't see places like this anymore. No. These arches, that glass at the end of the hallway, which is mm -hmm. a transom, this is a real treat to be able to experience this. Oh, my God. So here's the big question. Where, where do we start? Well, why don't we start on this side, and then we'll keep it going. OK. Oh, let's take a look at the fireplace. Look, it has a gas insert, so that's really nice. It is really nice. These ceilings are really high. I would right? say at least 10. It feels like, you know, everybody should be sipping on a brandy or something. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it's like, welcome to the Grand Salon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but this is not the only sitting area. So let's go from the East Salon to the West Salon. Obviously, with the two windows in this room, when you walk in, it is brighter. Yeah, it sure is. I spy something in the next room. I think it's going to knock our socks off. All right. Let's go check this out. One, two, three. Voila! Dining room. It's encased in wood. <laughs> it's encased in wood. Somebody brought the drama to this room. They it is did. gorgeous. It is just rich. It's warm with this dark burgundy tone. Yeah. Thank goodness that we have two windows. Yeah. I get like a great Gatsby kind of feel. A little Tiffany like chandelier mm -hmm. there. This is a grand condo. <laughs> but I'm also seeing some other light. All right. Okay. To the kitchen, I think. I like this kitchen. All right, I, I don't know. You don't know? Well, there's not a lot of counter space. This house was built in 1915. I think this is a pretty big kitchen for that. Well, era. talk about old school. Look behind you, there's a dumbwaiter. From another era, and I love it. <laughs> and, you know, lovely cooktop. Yeah, they've got nice appliances, and I love the glass tile. You have granite on the floors, mm -hmm. granite on the countertops. OK. I still would like to see a little more counter space. Is that wrong? I don't think you need a bigger kitchen. <laughs> Back into this great mm -hmm. hallway. Hey, we missed your room. I was ready to go this way. Hey. I'm, glad, I'm glad you're with don't me. Don't go yet. Yeah, there's more down here. Oh, look. It's a great den slash living room. Oh, see, I envision it different. I envision it as a bedroom. A bedroom? Right, because we have all those sitting areas. Yeah, I feel like this is still the front of the house, mm -hmm. you know? But it's a really nice size room. It is. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, now down. Now, now down the promenade. This is what drew us in the minute we walked in that door, because you came down these archways, and yeah. then the light coming through this window. Yes. It was like that little bit of an awe moment. Totally. Mm -hmm. OK, this could be a bedroom. Oh, no, I'd use it as an office. Or an office. No, you could use it as a bedroom. <laughs> Equally good. <laughs> All right, yeah. but this really is a bedroom. Here. This is really a bedroom, <laughs> and I'm assuming this is the primary. I would guess you're correct. Yeah. Hey, talk about all these great old details. Tina, look at these closets. Yeah, but what I like is the mirror yeah. on the closet doors because it reflects the light in this room. It also looks really cool, and you can check yourself out in it. And down here, oh, another closet door. Oh, oh bing, washer bing, bing. dryer. You get the prize, washer and dryer, and that is the perfect place right next to your closet. All right, let's check out the bathroom. All right. Oh, OK. The unexpected is in this bathroom. Wow, I can think of a lot of things. Okay. I can't wait to see. <laughs> hey. This is the biggest jacuzzi I've ever seen. In, in a bathroom. House. And I love the creative touches with like this blue. Is that granite? What mm -hmm. is that? I can't tell, actually. Could be quartz? Right. Yeah. And you have this, look at this shower. Is what that a steam shower? No, because it's up in the top, but it has a ton of nozzles. That's quite a nice shower and water closet. And Tina, look at this. That Ooh. door. Look at how big that door is. It's a good old door. It's heavy, too. All right. OK, so this is a nice surprise. It's a great bathroom, <laughs> great primary suite. Tina, mm -hmm. looks like this is the 
final wing of mm -hmm. this beautiful place. Okay, I've got a bedroom with great windows on both sides of this corner room. Okay, I'm just gonna take your word for it because I was so distracted and enamored with this bathroom, <laughs> okay? I love this tile and clawfoot bathtub. Yeah, and did you see the sink? I know, and it's hammered copper. I'm just gonna say it. This is one of my favorite bathrooms. Okay, come on, I can't wait to tell David what I think about this place. So, what do you think, guys? <laughs> well, can we just talk about another great view? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's gorgeous. This is one of the best views from any condo or apartment building I've honestly ever seen. You've got all of the best DC skyline from one rooftop. And what a place. What a place, right? Where do we start? Can we talk about that dining room? Right? <laughs> what? It looks like you could have like a big murder mystery dinner <laughs> party there, you know, right? Yeah. <laughs> you are transported to another time. Even the dumbwaiter is still there. We Isn't saw that, that with the little buzzer. Yes. <laughs> Along with some of the original items of the home, you know, there were some new things, some uh, new renovations. Yeah. You know, like Which jacuzzi. <laughs> was there a jacuzzi there? There was a jacuzzi. <laughs> now, you know, I'm guessing that wasn't original to the building. I don't think so, yeah, that wasn't a big thing in 1915. <laughs> so a co-op, do you guys know what the co-op is? Can you refresh us? Sure. Instead of a condo where you really own your unit, in this building you own shares of a corporation that owns the whole building, and then you're given this kind of endless lease to your unit as long as you own those shares. $1,400 a month, pays your property taxes, pays your heat, oh, your wow, hot that's water, a big one. your water. So about this unit. We have four bedrooms, roughly, okay, two full bathrooms, 2,650 square feet. Enormous. Right? Enormous. Bigger than most houses, by the way, yeah, in D.C., right. okay? Built in 1915, the, the whole building. What do you think the price is? I've been thinking about this. Okay. I'm just going to come in at... 950,000. Okay, that's a big leap from uh, the last one, isn't it? <laughs> it's a big leap. <laughs> well, this is a way bigger place, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go higher. Okay. I'm gonna go with a cool million. A million? Mm -hmm. The actual price is a million bucks. You got it. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> He's really got an act for this, you know? Well, you know. <laughs> I think that's a good price. Well, yeah, you do, because you won. <laughs> that's why it's a good price.